Good morning, gents. Active Aussie here, Saturday. It's just after 10 a.m. I was listening to the radio whilst I was driving about an hour ago, and there was a story on the news about a group called Walk for a Bloke, and I think they used to be called Spoke to a Bloke, and the purpose of this organisation apparently is to raise funds and awareness for men's mental health issues, and it was nice to hear a sort of positive story on MSM radio in regard to to men and it's good that for a change issues affecting men are discussed on the radio and it was pointed out that in Australia each week 70% of people who self-delete are men and obviously guys like myself and a lot of my listeners would already know that but it's not really spoken about that much within the mainstream media. Mostly it's talk about women's problems, women's issues. I was over at my mother's house a few weeks ago and usually I don't listen to, don't watch any mainstream TV news, but my mother had the ABC on. This story came on about how women suffer the most from chronic pain which I feel is very misleading that's just like a sort of blatant lie because it's men who are mostly doing the hard yards in industries such as construction mining forestry etc plus we have all the men who get injured like maimed in military service as well so mostly in the mainstream media all we hear about is the women's problems, women's issues. But back to this group walk for a bloke. Apparently this morning in the Brisbane CBD, and I'd never heard of this group before, they're going to have a march through the city. They've had it already, and they walk for 25 kilometres, and it's to raise funds for men's mental health issues. I feel this is a really great thing. I just want to touch on something else briefly and that is this issue of NoFap SR semen retention. This has been around for quite a while now and I feel it has become one of the biggest grifts and scams within the so-called red pill community, within the so-called manosphere. The fact is that No amount of NoFap is going to fix your face or fix your height. If you are just an average man, it just makes no difference. Or you could just say any man. Like women are either attracted to you or not. So... There are lots of people out now making videos promoting NoFap. I think that temporarily a boost in like testosterone can be beneficial for some men. But telling men, young men especially, to practice long-term NoFap, I think this really is bad advice. It's not a good idea and the young guys are just going to get frustrated. I feel that it's not a good idea to be telling young men to or control your biology, control your hormones, and there are some people doing that. The sort of MGTOW monk lifestyle is not for everyone. I'm one of the guys who does not promote that sort of lifestyle. And I think it's good in the manosphere that every now and then, sure, we warn guys about female nature and how women can and do manipulate men. And obviously there needs to be warnings every now and then in regard to 
marriage and no man should be getting married now in 2024 I don't care if you're a Chad or you're an average guy below average guy who still has an opportunity to marry just um, don't do it you should not marry but we really need to start focusing on other things like what I just spoke about men's mental health issues this is not really discussed very often very much in the manosphere and hopefully more men will discuss these type of issues because mental health is a huge problem within our society and I feel mostly it's men who are affected the most by this that's about all for now I'm going to make another video a bit later probably just after six tonight after sunset so look out for that one just wanted to throw a few ideas out there that's all for now and I'll talk to you again soon